a wrap. Hey, are you looking for a wrap uh, which is light, refreshing, gluten free, allergen free, flour free? It, that can be used as a wrap or a taco shell and can count as a vegetable serving? Well, look no further because the God that Trader Joe's has answered our prayers and has given us this beautiful hikama wraps. Okay, look at these. Mm -hmm. So these are literally a single ingredient wraps made out of hikama. Okay, so hikama is, 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 is a root native to Mexico and South America. And uh, I wish I had one. I, I completely forgot to pick it up from the grocery store, but um, it's, it's a brown looking bulb basically. The outer covering is like potato, it's, like, it's brown in color, and inside it's like a radish. I find it in terms of taste, it's, uh, it's a cross between radish and, and cucumber, you can say, or chestnut. It is, it is very mild and neutral in flavor. And uh, I'm just super thrilled that somebody <laughs> developed this technology to really slice it very thin. Now, let's say you don't have Trader Joe's close to you. Don't worry, you can buy the regular hikama. You can uh, put it in the refrigerator when it, you know, it, it cools down a bit and then just make very thin slices with either uh, with the knife or if you have a mandolin, then you can also slice it that way. But convenience, right? So I found these hikama wraps. As you can see, nutritionally, they rock, right? Zero fat, zero cholesterol, no sodium, total carbohydrate, just three. Out of that, two grams of fiber. Remember, I talk about fiber day in and then day out uh, because fiber, we need fiber to remove the toxins out of our body. We need fiber to, uh, to take out excess hormones from our body. Uh, so fiber is extremely important. And when you get fiber from vegetables, that's like added bonus. So this has one wrap. I mean, two wraps has two grams of fiber, no added sugar. Uh, let's see, uh, it has 50 milligrams of potassium, which is good. And ingredient is just hikama. So a perfect, perfect wrap solution, or you can use it for taco. And um, really, um, that's all, you know, this, this particular product is, I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to talk about the, uh, the stuffing that I'm going to make. Okay, do you see how thin this is? Okay, so it's, it's very thin, it's a little slippery, okay. And it smells good. It smells very really refreshing. Okay, so I have that. So let's talk about what can you stuff it with, okay? I found out, uh, this is my second time using it, that a leftover anything goes really well with these hikama wraps. What I have done is, for my first wrap stuffing, I had made some black bean salsa the other day and I had left over of that. I just added some extra cumin and jalapeno and uh, some corn and oregano and kind of jazz it up a bit. So um, my first wrap stuffing is going to be with, uh, with our good old guacamole that I have some left over as well from, from the lunch and stuff it with this uh, uh, with this black bean corn salsa. So let's get going, okay. It's, it's like I said, it's going to be easy and it's going to be simple. So I have this and I am going to, you can't even see it in the plate, can you? Uh, I'm just going to spread some guacamole on top. I think these wraps are going to be perfect for kids in their lunch boxes. 
when they go back to school, that is, right? But I'm requesting parents to those, uh, if they have kids uh, doing virtual uh, schooling from home, I mean, doing virtual classrooms, that please pack their lunch. And let's not have a free for all type of lunch period here, because that's when we are going to be uh, eating unhealthy. So treat the virtual classroom model just like uh, as if kids are going to school, pack their lunches, pack your own lunch. So when it's time to eat, you have everything planned. So I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, the stuffing in there. Right? And, and then I'm just going to press it down. And voila, the first wrap is ready. Okay, I'm just going to move it here. And let's move on to the second wrap filling. The second one is going to be interesting. Okay, so the garden had some kale, very fresh kale. I, I uh, turned it into a, to, to kale chips by just roasting it in the oven with a little bit of nutritionalist. Okay, what can I say about kale, right? I can talk here and talk for hours about kale. It's a superfood, uh, vitamin K, which is extremely important for our digestive system. It is important to take care of our digestive system because uh, it, uh, it uh, affects our immunity, right? This is all about immunity, right? Building our immunity, maintaining our immunity, challenging our immunity. So, kale. I have these kale chips from uh, from this morning, and then I'm going to show you something very interesting. Do you see all these peppers? Look at all these peppers. These are small sweet peppers: purple, brown, green, yellow. I really wish. You guys were my neighbors because what am I going to do with all these peppers? Well, I'm going to give it to a few people. If you are in my neighborhood, DM me and I will give it to you too. So I have all these lovely peppers and jalapeno here. So what I did, turned it into a pepper jelly. Now, yes, I ended up using sugar, but I wanted to try this recipe. Oh, my goodness. And it's spicy and it's sweet. And uh, I'm going to share my pepper jelly recipe next time because I'm still working on how can I reduce the sugar in this and make it even more healthy for us. But this was my first ever attempt in making it. So I had some pepper jelly. So the next wrap is going to be kale chips crunchy hikama with crunchy kale chips with dash of pepper jelly doesn't that sound wonderful okay so i have this okay and i am going to spread a little bit of this pepper jelly you guys see it how fantastic this looks. And like I said, it's sweet. It has a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Uh, all those multicolor peppers. Of course, I added extra jalapeno in there. So now just imagine the flavor are going to blend so well with this kale. The, the cool hikama wrap and crunchy kale in it, right? So as I'm saying, you can literally stuff these wraps with anything you want. They are coming in very handy, okay? Oh my goodness. Okay, in fact, you know what? I'm, I'm going to bring a toothpick. 
I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So if you are giving it to your kids in the school or if you are taking it for lunch or wherever, you may want to put a toothpick in there to hold it together. Okay. Um, I have never used toothpick in this to hold it because I usually end up eating. So that was our second wrap. Let's go to the third one. Now, third one is, uh, hmm, I am going little out there because I was thinking, you know, how can I have this uh, vegetable for breakfast, right? Should not be uh, that difficult, okay? Nobody has said that we can't eat vegetable for breakfast. So what I thought I will do is uh, I, I was thinking that, you know, how people eat celery with peanut butter. So that's a vegetable, right? I have seen uh, people eating carrots with vegetables. Of course, apple and, you know, fruit goes well with, uh, uh, what am I saying? I meant celery with peanut butter or carrot with peanut butter. So I said, why not hikama with peanut butter, right? So I have this crunchy, uh, all natural peanut butter, right? So let's make a breakfast, breakfast blend, okay? So let me grab a knife. And uh, so I'm going to put a little bit of crunchy peanut butter in here. And a friend of mine made the blueberry rhubarb fruit sauce. Can you guys see it? From the, all the blueberries and rhubarb from the community garden, okay? Uh, by the way, those peppers that I showed you, I don't know if you guys can see the baby tomatoes. Those are from the community garden. All these peppers are from the community garden. Kale is from community garden. Mm, all the peppers and uh, I believe there are some fresh fava beans in that bean salad. Everything is from community garden. I beg you to find a garden in your community and get involved. I cannot tell you how rewarding it is. Okay, I am so grateful to have my, to have found Marie Wilkinson's community garden in my neighborhood. Okay, anyway, so I have this um, rhubarb blueberry fruit sauce, you can say, and we are going to make a breakfast. Uh, breakfast wrap with hikama, crunchy peanut butter. Um, I have never done it before. Okay, so I'm as curious and uh, excited about this particular one because the other ones I know the taste is going to be fine. It's all going to be good. But uh, peanut butter and hikama wrap is going to be something new but i think it's doable i don't see why it will not work you know because it has the texture remember food is all about texture color flavor right so it has a refreshing hikama mild sweet hikama and then rhubarb is slightly tart blueberry sweet and it's a sauce so it's like jam i mean i don't see why it will not work right Here we go. And I'm just going to spread it a little bit more to make it mix with the peanut butter. And voila, the third peanut butter peanut butter, rhubarb, blueberry wrap is ready, okay? Now you can literally stuff it as much as you can or as little as you can, okay? Whatever you can handle when you are eating. So 
let's review what we got here. The crunchy, crunchy kale pepper jelly hikama wrap. That's one. The avocado, black bean, fava bean salsa wrap, number two. And last but not the least is uh, peanut butter, rhubarb, blueberry sauce, breakfast taco or breakfast wrap, okay, or breakfast bite, how whatever you want to call it, okay. So I don't know which one to try. Since I have never tried the peanut butter one, I'm going to try that one first. Mm. Mm. Can you hear the crunch? I feel so bad that I'm eating it all by myself. I really wish you guys were my neighbors. All I could get to share. Mm. Guys, this is a winner. I must say, this is going to be so perfect for breakfast. The hikama wrap is so light, it's so crunchy, it's refreshing. And the peanut butter, the creaminess of peanut butter, the sweet and sourness of jam, I mean, it is just amazing. I think kids are going to love it, okay? It, it's, it's just, it's working out so well. Well, I'm also curious to try the uh, crunchy kale, pepper jelly, hikama taco. Let me try that. Mm. Mm. Kale, spicy pepper jelly. Mm. I can feel the jalapeno. Mm. I think I went a little overboard with jalapeno, but oh well. It's wonderful. Okay. So that's all I have to share today. Okay. Please, please, please. Go and grab these wonderful hikama wraps, okay, from Trader Joe's or once Trader Joe's starts having it, I'm sure Whole Foods will have it and very soon it will be in regular grocery stores. I know Sprouts has it. Uh, probably, I think the next one, Mariano's may start carrying it. So like I said, these are crunchy, these are light, these are refreshing, most importantly, a clean label, easy to use, ready to eat wrap that, you know, yeah, product cannot get cleaner than this, right? So I'm so happy that I, I, I discovered this. Like I said, it's Hikama wrap. Um, I can't say uh, enough about it. I hope Trader Joe's won't, won't discontinue it. I don't think they will because it's, I think it's a really good product. And uh, please plan your meals. A lot of these products are easily available. If nothing else, at least try it, buy it, try it with peanut butter and a little bit of honey or uh, any kind of fruit inside. I, oh, that reminds me, I have some figs. Maybe I'll fix one with peanut butter and fig inside. I'm gonna talk about figs and immunity uh, next time, so stay tuned. I thank you all for for watching please uh, send us your comments and and questions i will be happy to answer until then i wish you happiness health wealth everything take care of yourself and i will see you next time okay enjoy